My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream it was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, <sighs> oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! <sighs> Throw me the bag! Stop! I'll shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return a favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? No, 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 eh? no. no. All right, Scaletta, take the shot. Allora, traditori, pensavate di poterci prendere in giro? Di tradirci? Avete pensato male? Vi facciamo vedere noi ci Let's go to the next one. 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 You and Williams take out that machine gun nest. Then find the prisoner. We're going to need every man we can get. Thank you. Ain't getting through this way. Looks 
like we found the machine gun! Watch it! Get off your ass and let's move it. Grab all the ammo you can carry. Whoa, this might holy. be our last chance. Look at this shit. On the stairs! Take hey, grease ball! Yeah. Come on, assholes! Die! Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Right behind you. you take part. I'm not so Got him. The door's collapsed. Kick it in. Damn door in, Scaletta! That's an order! The door, Scaletta! Kick it in! Arrendi! O gli faccio saltare il cervello! Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Hey! Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Oh, 
Ricciotti! Ma che diavolo sta dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Uno perso da parte! Crepi davvero Don Calò! Quello è finito! Cacetto! Un congetto hanno samaretà come cucina! Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti! Don Calò è un uomo d'onore! È uno stupido trucco degli americani! Non ditemi che gli credete! No, è davvero Don Calò! Ogni tanto dovesse ascoltare i consigli di noiarsi del posto! Ce la rendiamo! Sapete che potete fedarvi di me! Che ne dite, eh? Don Calo, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth. You miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record? Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? I almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Oh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Pat himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Hey, what's the good word? Hey, Vito, yes. look who's back. You're looking pretty good for a guy who just got shot. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Francesca said you were coming back. Finally, some good news, eh? Come in, young man. Yeah, no come, kidding. Come. It's good to Best. be back. Siero Sid City. So, uh, some more food for you. You know, I'm real glad you're all right. Neighborhood just wasn't the same without you. Well, everything still looks the same around here, including you. So, uh, 
What are you doing later? Hey, you know, the usual cooking dinner for Tony and the kids. Oh, you got married? Boy, you didn't waste any time, huh? Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, no. sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. So oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice, Signore, pronunciare le parole di volontà. Stiamo ricevendo provvedere nel cuore che ci sono You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't Look care if you gotta sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, oh, asshole. No. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ah. Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Vito, please. Ah. You're making it even worse. Oh! oh. 